What is up everyone, my name is Josh and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be painting this little carbon fiber strip. So if you guys have seen my car before, you'll know that there is a carbon fiber strip right here and the rest of the car is white. Um, now we're going to be painting that, color correcting it because it looks kind of shabby being carbon fiber. Okay, so first of all we need to get the carbon fiber boot lid off, which is a screw here and a screw here. So give me a second, I'll get those two off. Okay. Wow, that is so dirty. And that's what she looks like without a boot lid on. It's not too bad actually, I don't mind it. Okay, the boot lid is all off, and now we need to start prepping it, so sanding is next. Okay, now we're gonna sand it, which kinda hurts, because sitting this is actually carbon fiber, and it's the only piece of my car that is real carbon fiber. So, sending this is gonna hurt me a little bit. Oh, here we go. So I'm using 400 grit here as well. So something that's not too abrasive, but something that's still gonna put a nice little scratch into the carbon fiber so the paint can stick. So if you guys wanna have a quick look, that is what it looks like right now. So that is a painful sight. <laughs> this uh, was not cheap. Okay guys, now it is time to paint the actual boot lid. So, what we're using here is, let me focus you guys in. We're using Duplicolor Heron White Motor Spray. So, had this for a little while, I don't know how well it's going to work because it has been sitting for about four months, but we'll find out. So, let's get into that and we'll see what happens. We'll let that sit for about 15 minutes and get back to coat number two. I got a little bit of paint splatter right here, so I'm hoping that it can kind of go away once I put more paint on. Fingers crossed. We're using a 2K clear coat here. So I've had this one for a little while. It has been used and they do say to throw them out after 36 hours. Um, this one's been sitting for about four months. So we're gonna find out if this can still be used or not. If not, I will send it back and then just get a new clear coat and uh, use that. But we'll see how this goes first. So we'll get to clear coating and see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, we'll leave that like that for a little bit and come back to it. Okay, after all the clear coating and the spray painting, this is what it looks like. Now, I wish I did have a bit more white because that doesn't come out perfect. As you can see, it's a bit black in the middle there. It's not perfect, but when you're in the light, you'll barely even notice that. But um, what we're going to do next is we're going to wait for it to dry and then we will be wet sanding it to give it a nice smooth, fingers crossed smooth, clear looking finish. Okay, you can't see me very well, but I need to sand this to get rid of all the rough spots in the paint, um, as there is quite a few little spots. Um, and then we need to try and get it all shiny again. Okay, let's get this sandpaper down to a finer grit. I'm gonna stop the video right there because pretty much I did the 1200 grit sandpaper and that was too abrasive for the 2K clear coat and it left little scratches all through it. I did fill it in with a polish and call it cut and polish. Um, but it didn't actually fix any of the scratches at all and it just actually made them worse um, So I went back clear coated it again and then just used 3000 sandpaper very lightly and that has given me a nice little finish We're gonna go ahead and give this a cut and polish and fingers crossed it starts coming up really nicely uh
unfortunately I didn't actually record an outro in this video because it was getting really hot in the day. I just wanted to get it over and done with. Um, but this is pretty much the end product. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see any more videos in the future. Uh, apart from that, thanks for watching.